Hello, I'm Hugh McKay, a social psychologist and the author of 22 books, including the very latest, The Kindness Revolution, which I'm delighted to say has been chosen by Dimex as their non-fiction book of the month for May. The Kindness Revolution uh, is really a call for a revolution, quite literally. Um, drawing on the lessons that we learned from that remarkable year called 2020. It was such a turbulent period and, and of course, so unexpected uh, that it was interesting to observe how Australians reacted. And how they reacted is how we react whenever there's a catastrophe or a crisis. Uh, we just pitch in and act like neighbours. We know when there's a crisis we have to make personal sacrifices for the greater good, and we just do it. It's innate within us as human beings to act kindly and respectfully and cooperatively. In other words, to acknowledge that we belong to humanity, and that's more important than anything we might want to say about our personal identity. So 2020 was the starting point for this book, but the book is really about the personal and societal transformation that can occur when we manage to nudge some of our ego-driven desires out of the way and make kindness, mutual respect, compassion, tolerance towards other people our default position. That's revolutionary. That's a radical kind of kindness, but we're capable of it. And we demonstrate that we're capable of it when there's a crisis or a catastrophe. Wouldn't it be pathetic if we had to face in ourselves the possibility that we only act kindly, respectfully, compassionately when there's a crisis? Why can't we do it all the time? I imagine that the sort of people who are going to read this book are not going to be surprised, let alone shocked, by its message, they're probably sympathetic to the idea that what we need is a kindness revolution. And that's my great aspiration for the book, that people will join the revolution. That people say, yes, we could act in 2021, 22, 23, and forevermore the way we were prepared to act in 2020. We could be far more kindly disposed towards each other, more respectful of each other, more ready to be compassionate towards those in, in, in need. That could be our default position. So if, if anyone is inspired by reading this book to adopt kindness as their default position, rather than something they turn on for special occasions, I'd be a very happy author. So please pick up your copy of The Kindness Revolution either in-store or online through Dimmicks.